IT Expo Miami 2009. Hi, this is Eric Lanasse coming to you now live from the open exhibit hall floor at IT Expo in Miami, Florida. I'm here now with uh, Joe Massarino from Fujitsu Network Communications. Welcome, Joe. Thank hey. you. Thank you. Um, certainly a little bit exciting as you look around and see all the people uh, milling around and uh, getting all the latest in the communication space. It's um, quite a busy show today, I noticed. Yeah. Uh, it's good, good. We'll uh, try to keep our volume up so everybody can hear us. Sure. But uh, listen, uh, you guys are doing some exciting stuff in, in uh, communications as well, uh, particularly around the migration from uh, TDM to uh, IP in the wireless backhaul space. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, that area is uh, being driven by uh, a migration of uh, Ethernet uh, for 4G services. Uh, those 4G mobile services such as uh, LTE and WiMAX uh, are driving bandwidth requirements and changing the infrastructure. Uh, that infrastructure being uh, the present day uh, 2G, 3G technologies that are using uh, TDM uh, uh, types of services are uh, now starting uh, to migrate towards these newer technologies that will allow advanced uh, services such as LTE and uh, WiMAX services. Those new services are mainly using Ethernet and the challenge is to smoothly migrate the network uh, from uh, the existing uh, TDM environment uh, to this all Ethernet environment uh, without having to uh, redesign the entire network, change everything around, uh, as well as maintaining uh, the quality of the network, the uh, service level agreements uh, uh, being maintained in a way that uh, will maintain the uh, high quality of service uh, for voice communications uh, and um, uh, the uh, data services such as streaming video uh, applications uh, that are being used. Uh, we uh, have developed at Fujitsu a, uh, a technology with our uh, packet uh, optical uh, platform uh, products that use a, a G.8031 uh, technology and this technology integrated with Sonnet technology offers the best of both worlds. Uh, it allows uh, for your uh, TDM traffic, your uh, 2G, 3G traffic uh, to utilize a, a TDM infrastructure to maintain performance levels uh, and uh, uh, maintain the overall operation of that network while offering this packet layer within the Sonnet layer uh, that offers uh, uh, quality of service and maintains uh, very tight service level agreements uh, while providing an efficiency for these new high bandwidth services. Well, we certainly know all about those. Um, now, when you're talking about uh, maintaining uh, uh, quality of service uh, and, and uh, SLAs and, and that kind of thing, are you seeing any sort of a trend right now towards uh, uh, retaining retaining uh, TDM for voice services, voice traffic, and uh, migrating to IP strictly for data? Uh, yes, in fact. Uh, the uh, overall network today is uh, TDM-based uh, for the 2G, 3G services. Uh, and uh, what's being envisioned with uh, LTE uh, and WiMAX services is an all Ethernet uh, environment. Uh, well, converting uh, the or, or transforming the original 2G, 3G services over to an all Ethernet environment poses some challenges, uh, especially when you use uh, circuit emulation technologies uh, that will impact the performance of those networks. Uh, maintaining a latency that has been uh, standardized by several of the wireless service providers at uh, five milliseconds and jitter at one millisecond uh, is uh, quite difficult to do with circuit emulation technologies. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, using a technology that uh, Fujitsu has developed uh, within uh, a standard G.8031, we have found that uh, the use of integrated TDM and uh, carrier uh, or connection-oriented Ethernet uh, is the best way going forward. 
TDM being used for the 2G, 3G, or let's say the existing services that are out there that were uh, using uh, DS1, DS3 services, and then our uh, connection-oriented Ethernet service uh, for a very efficient uh, operation and transport of uh, these upcoming uh, all Ethernet services. So we have this integrated approach that also allows for a smooth migration from the existing technology to the future technology. Okay. Great. Um, and uh, really quickly then, you, you know, how, does, uh, how do you see uh, Fujitsu's uh, packet uh, ONP technology or, or uh, uh, thinking uh, play into the wireless backhaul space then? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a unique environment in that uh, Fujitsu has this overall system uh, approach uh, that is available in several stages. Uh, the first stage, which is to transition, smoothly transition, in fact, the existing 2G, 3G networks uh, over to enable them to uh, pass these new services, uh, LTE, uh, WiMAX services. Uh, and uh, we have a series of platforms that will do that, that all integrate into uh, one main platform that would be at the hub. So at the access site, we uh, can offer both those TDM services and uh, connection-oriented Ethernet services with very high performance uh, service level agreements uh, in one integrated platform, and then back at the hub site, be able to do translation of those uh, for uh, TDM going to TDM services and Ethernet going to higher order packet uh, networks uh, through a single platform um, that exists within our FlashWave product line. Good. And, uh, and I know the, we talked uh, really, really briefly earlier about uh, some of the conference sessions that, uh, that you had uh, a chance to attend. How did, uh, how did those turn out for you? Uh, very well. Uh, there are several um, uh, 4G tutorials that I found to be quite interesting. I learned some new things uh, in how uh, uh, various 4G technologies are going to be implemented going forward. And uh, the, uh, the tutorials, I think, were uh, very worthwhile. I also listened to the, uh, uh, the keynotes th this morning uh, with uh, Microsoft and uh, thought that also uh, went quite well in terms of uh, technology going forward and uh, new innovation within the uh, wireless area. Good. Well, I certainly look forward to uh, keeping up on uh, the latest at uh, Fujitsu. Uh, we've been uh, talking at IT Expo in Miami with uh, Joe Massarino from Fujitsu. Joe, thank you uh, very much for joining us this morning. Hey, thank you.